Hello, my name is Bill Haley, and this is part of my three minute introduction series into Haley 2024 The Reforms, Haley 2024 The Movements, uh, Government Reform Ideas. So, this one's going to be um, fighting government control. This is not going to take you to the CRA structure, but this is hopefully going to be the first step into bringing power to where it's supposed to be at the state level so states can go to the CRA level a lot easier because only the federal control will be at the um, more of the foreign policy and the like. So let's um, let's get into this amendment. This is good. We're going to talk. This is on the third amendment that I propose. I already talked did videos on the other two. We're doing a video, a three minute introduction video per one of all the twelve. So let's read this one. The federal government's domestic taxing authority would would be limited to taxing the states a percentage of their GDP. Congress defines GDP. Congress retains its taxing authority to conduct foreign policy against declared enemies. So, what we're talking about here is how the federal government is going to collect taxes. They have to um, tell the states that they want a percentage of their GDP. So right now, we should never be up to 23, 24, 25 percent of GDP going to the federal government. But if that's what they're going to spend, they need to tell the states, every state, you need to give us 23 percent of your GDP. They don't tax. They don't have an IRS anymore. Their IRS has changed over to just ensuring that every state's paying the proper amount to the federal government. Then the states are going to have to come up with that money. 23% of the GDP. Usually they can't get above the 18, 19% historical averages. So the federal government's going to be shrunk down some, hopefully. The states are going to force it through the other amendments and different things that I have here and through other controls. But this is going to put a lot of pressure on states to say, whoa, you're overreaching and we're paying directly to up to the federal government just so you can give us money back. We need to stop that. So, but this is going to, this is a unique way of saying federal government's taxing authority goes away other than to say, and it's very limited to very specific. States have to give a certain percentage, let's say 20%, 10%, 18%. Obviously, I want as low as possible. We have You have to give that to the government. And then every state determines how they're going to collect that taxes. Do they want to do a sales tax, income tax, payroll tax? There's a lot of ways to do it. You can even go a head tax and a um, real estate tax. Whatever taxes you want to do, you can do that. Um, do I need to do the notes? Let's see. This will put the taxing power back into the states, allowing for many different taxing approaches. The next note is declared enemies is an effort to acknowledge that tariffs are always a bad economics and only justified as a weapon against enemies. So this goes into that a little bit. Read, read up on my page where I get into how um, they can do foreign policy um, with taxes, such as tariffs and different things. But we don't. We want to do that only against declared enemies, and there's reasons for that. Anyway, look around the website. Thanks a lot.